Now today I'm gonna to make a really simple recipe. What I'm gonna be making is condensed milk chocolate truffles. Only two ingredients, so give them a go. So for making these truffles, I'm gonna use a can of condensed milk, now that's 400 grams, and I'm gonna use about 160 grams of cocoa powder, plus some extra just for coating the outside of the truffles. So I'm gonna go out the hob, get myself a pan, and we're gonna start warming up the condensed milk. So I've got the can of condensed milk in there. Now what I'm gonna do is put it on a low heat until we get it just slightly frothing, but don't overdo it, otherwise you'll burn it. I'm just gonna put the heat on. Now you do wanna put it on fairly low heat, and make sure that you're stirring it pretty much all, all the way through. And you wanna do this until it's just starting to very gently froth and then take it off the heat. Otherwise, you will burn it. There you go, mine's just come up and started frothing. So I'm gonna take that straight off the heat, go to the table and we're gonna start adding in the cocoa powder. So I'm gonna put the cocoa powder in there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sieve it so we get the lumps out. And really what you wanna do is do it in three batches. So, that'll do for the first one. And then get our spatula. And again, give that a stir until it's all incorporated with the hot milk, the condensed milk. There you go, that's the first batch. Now again, I'll put in some more of that cocoa powder. And again, sieve that through. And then I'm gonna start mixing it up and then we'll put the final batch in. Now I did take a little bit of that cocoa powder out of that container because obviously we need to use a little bit of that for sprinkling over the, you know, over the truffles. So again, I'll just mix that up and it will thicken up each time you put the powder in, the cocoa powder. And just put the last little bit in. And again, really work that all together and it'll become nice and thick. So I'll just carry on doing that. There you go, finish that. Does get quite firm at the end. So that now is ready to be put in some sort of container and then it's gonna go in the fridge. Now, now I've got a container there with some cellophane underneath and I'm just gonna put that lovely bit of mixture there. Now what we've got to do is just to flatten this out. So I've pretty much flattened that out. That's fine, we can always, you know, put them into shape after at the end, but uh, that's fine now. So all I'm gonna do is just put this cellophane back over, like that. And then we can put that in the fridge now you want to leave these for a good couple of hours for them to harden up. So just wash that down and then I'll go and pop those in the fridge. And I'll see you in a couple of hours. Now I've left my mixture in the fridge for about two hours. And what I'm going to do is just sprinkle a bit of that leftover we had. We didn't use all of it in the mix. There you go. And I've got me thing out of the fridge there, so just kind of unwrapping it. Look at that, beautiful. So I'm just gonna chop this up. I've got a fairly big knife for doing this, but that's fine. Not a very sharp knife, but it'll do the job. There you go. And again, you can make these as big as you want. So I'm just gonna chop it that way and then go in sideways as well and just make it into little squares or whatever you want. But I'll carry on doing that with all of them. Now again, I'm just gonna give them a little sprinkle with some more of that cocoa powder. Like that. Lovely. And what we can then do is just pick them up, get them into the shape you want, or just serve them as they are. 
So there you go, got mine all laid out. I'll just give them a quick dusting, just to, you know, make them look nice and uh, presentable. Now let's just cut one of these in half so you can see it. Look at that. Lovely. Hmm. Let me try that. Hmm. Mm -mm. Nice and chewy, but when you're in the mouth and they're warming up, it's kind of melting in your mouth. They are delicious. Give these a go because they're so, so simple. Only two ingredients, and it doesn't take that long to actually make up the mixture and then just leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours. But really nice. I mean, obviously, you could package these up in a nice little box, give them away as Christmas presents, or they're just a nice little treat. Really simple to do. Thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up, subscribe, leave the comments, go and check out all my other videos, and I'll see you again very soon. The original Naked Chef.